And as Tony just mentioned, the weather should cooperate for travelers because of the lack of uh, ice and snow. High witness news analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us now to talk about security that's in place. AAA is saying 100 million people will travel 50 miles or more general over the next week. That means security at airports will be tight. But it's been tight now for a while. I think so. I think the only difference we'll see is the volume of people going through these different uh, security checkpoints. Uh, of particular note would be uh, the lines that would seemingly be normal during this time frame might be a little bit longer because of the 50, I mean of the uh, 100 million people traveling more than 50 miles. So that's a consideration for airports, bus terminals, and so on and so forth. Passengers at the airports will be going through body scanners. Would this make it a quicker move for them? Well, with the new technology they have for body scanners, I think it'd be more, uh, not so much uh, pleasurable, if you will, but certainly more, it takes away the, the concern about privacy. The new systems have more of a digital approach to the body versus the actual skeletal uh, approach to the body. So if there's something that someone's carrying, you'll see it as a digital uh, representation versus uh, looking at someone's actual body. We're talking about security. Obviously, we have troops all around the world, about 500 from Rhode Island scattered. You've been with the troops on the holidays. That's a tough time, especially for their families that are left it at is. home. It is. tremendously challenging to them. Uh, and as much as, you know, they, they're seemingly having a, a good time with the meals and camaraderie they have there, there's always that missing ingredient, and it's called the family. Today's technology, however, allows them to have some kind of connectivity, but nothing like being in their arms. All right, General Centracchio, as always, thank you, and have a Merry Christmas to you and your family. And to you too, Mike. And to the troops. And for more, you can go to our website, WPRI.com.